So I'm Rick Hansen. Uh, welcome to Wednesday Meditation. I'm really glad you're here. And I was just saying a moment ago, you might want to take a moment uh, to look at the, the, the screens, the little thumbnails of other people who are joining you here. Uh, for me, early evening in California where I live. And you might get a sense of being amidst others in, in this online platform who are also practicing with you. And you can, in your own heart, have a sense that in ways known and unknown, seen and unseen, as we think the Buddha put it a long time ago, uh, you can have a, 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 a sense of the ways in which your own practice is rippling out to benefit others, and that in part, you have a sincere intention to practice for the sake of others. Well, as you tune into that intention yourself, you can realize that you are amidst others who are practicing for your sake as well as their own. And kind of let that land, let that become more than just an idea, maybe, and, and see if there's some kind of simple feeling of opening in the heart or a, a kind of a ah that may come over you as, as you are aware of that. You know, we practice for ourselves, we practice for others, we practice amidst others, and we receive the benefits of the practice of others as well, both in the present, here and around the world, in all kinds of ways people practice, and we receive these benefits handed forward to us from practitioners in times past, uh, people practicing a minute ago, a year ago, a century ago, uh, 2,500 years ago. And that's a very skillful and helpful thing to appreciate. Our format, you may know, is in a moment we'll begin to meditate. Uh, some of you are already in a meditative posture and starting to move into that, which is fine. Um, I'll offer some suggestions. We'll do this for the 35 minutes past the hour, 6.35 p.m. my time. Then we'll take a short break, about 10 minutes, and then resume at 15 minutes to the next hour, uh, 15 minutes to 7 p.m. And then I'll give a talk. Tonight's talk is about accepting yourself fully and your needs along with it, accepting your needs particularly applied to uh, key relationships, including difficult relationships, feeling a kind of healthy entitlement, in other words, or an okayness in you know, being who you are, even while you know, you're, you're practicing with who you are. So that'll be my talk. It'll open it up for discussion. We'll take the discussion a lot through the chat, comments in the chat. That's an efficient way in the chat sidebar for me to respond to questions and comments. And also, hopefully, I'll be able to talk with uh, one or two people at least. All right? So that's the plan. And Art, I am now making you a co-host as well. Excellent. Great. Okay. Let's meditate. Taking a breath, eyes open or closed. And establishing a posture that has a feeling in it of stability and ease. Might help to imagine yourself as a a deeply rooted tree, perhaps someone with a certain, in a healthy sense, a kind of nobility, a certain self-respect without putting on airs, maybe like a mountain, stable, present, Landing here, in a sense, claiming where you are. You are here. You may as well have a sense of, yes, I'm here. I'm claiming this time in this place.
establishing the intention of steadiness of mind, stability of presence, simply staying present in the present. especially in the beginning of meditation or practice in general, it can help to remain in touch with some object of attention, like the feeling of breathing. And staying in touch with the sensations of breathing in one place, such as around your upper lip, or in your chest in general, maybe your body as a whole, staying in touch with sensations helps to quiet the chatter in the mind. It also helps you to get in touch with the deeper layers of yourself, staying in touch with breathing. And by contrast, as you stay in touch with breathing, you can be Mindful of the ways the mind often wants to dart about, chase after things that are distractions. And you can realize that a lot of that darting about is actually not necessary or wise. But if you weren't stably in touch with breathing, you wouldn't notice it so much. So I'll be quiet for some minutes and I encourage you to see what it's like to land on and really commit to remaining stably aware of something such as the feeling of breathing in the present as sounds and thoughts and other sensations come and go, passing through awareness, letting them come and go while you remain in touch with your object of attention.
Letting go of the need for any more stimulation than your object of attention is giving you. Letting go also of worries or stresses or pressure. And finding a simple sense of enoughness and all rightness in the present while you stay in touch with breathing or other object of attention. Right now, do you need anything more than this moment as it is? Right now, can you feel that this moment is enough? in the sense of the enoughness of the present, the present moment, there could be feelings of gratitude, contentment, easing, peacefulness. We're not chasing after those feelings, we're simply uh, opening to them 
as they are naturally present in the sense of the present moment being enough. Contentment, all rightness, a simple ease. Remaining aware of your body, you can also have a sense of awareness widening, opening, including sounds and sights, a sense of the larger world, a spaciousness, being aware of qualities of spaciousness and openness. in the present. If your attention contracts around a single experience or, or thought or a little internal movie, as soon as you notice that, let it go and widen out again, open out again into abiding as spaciousness.
let go into the spaciousness, opening, edgeless, untroubled, non-reactive, And if there are some good feelings in the spaciousness, simple feelings perhaps of peacefulness, well-being, even joy, perhaps love, it's fine to include these in your meditation. allowing what feels good about spaciousness to help bring you home to spaciousness in the present. Other than remaining present in spaciousness, let go of all other forms of doing. And as your mind gets quieter and efforts and reactions fall away, there's a coming to rest, aware, present, spacious, in what can feel simply as a ground of being non-conceptual, not thinking about it, not trying to figure it out, just a feeling of quieting, settling, homecoming to the ground of all being. 